he just decided he didn't want her to work there anymore. He didn't like the way that she worked. They were out of sync, didn't feel like that he was able to grow. And so he asked me to be full time. So I did step in full time. But um, when that happened, though, he didn't communicate with that office manager what he wanted, his expectations, what wasn't working, what was working. There was no communication there. So when I came in full time, it was a complete shock to her because he was supposed to to communicate that with her. And so she kind of just got kicked out and I hated that. And that should have been my red flag, but I didn't take it like that. So I stuck with it. And, you know, things just kind of kept progressing in that downward spiral spiral from there. Um, We decided to open a second location. And so suddenly I was over two locations. And again, dumpster fire situation, opening up that second practice. Was it a de novo but, or a acquisition? It was acquisition. I guess kind of de novo in a way, though, because it was a dead practice. Oh, it had yeah. been sitting for about three years. So the location was there. There were patients, but they hadn't been seen for about three years. So I kind of, I guess, a mix of both. Yeah. So um, open up the second location. And that's like when things really started to get hairy, I guess is the nice way to put it. <laughs> um. When I was meeting with him, he, we would make decisions. And when I would go to the second location, he would completely do the opposite of what we decided on. And so I felt like I was kind of constantly between a rock and a hard place. You know, we'd make a decision that was strategic, that was tactical, was addressing issues, was a forward progression. And then he would just change it because he had this huge fear of not being in this command and control kind of style. It really, it really set him back. The other problem too is that the the practice he had merged with, they were partners. They didn't have a true partnership. And so I wasn't able to really communicate with that other provider either. He always only wanted me to talk to him. There was no, I wasn't allowed to have one-on-one meetings with this other provider and nor was he invited into our meetings. Hmm. And so things just started to dismantle at a really high, crazy rate. So in 2018, um, my husband got his notice that he would be going on the deployment that following um, October. Mm. And so we just kind of took that like, you know, I think this is our our sign that we need to we need to make a shift here. We just need to be done because I was soon going to be a single parent to three babies. The amount of working hours I was doing with both locations was about 60 hours. And I, again, I was just at that complete miserable burned out state for a lot of reasons. So by January, I turned in my notes and I was done. Mm. 